Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Abram Model and Leonid Kubel. This is a game from the Leningrad final championship played in 1929. Play with the black pieces in this game, Kubel was a Russian composer of chess and game studies and problems. How good was he at playing and games? Let's see. Let's jump to move number 47. Why? Well, the game was long and hard. And if I go blah 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 from opening through middle game to the end game, by the time I reach this epic end game, both you and me would be tired to enjoy it. So let's start from this position. Model played knight to e5, threatening to take the pawn on f7, maybe. Who is better? White has a knight for two pawns, and in the middle game it would fire white, but this is an end game. And in the end game the strength of pawns increases, especially if they are past pawns. So it is black to move. The chess composer played e3, attacking the rook. White to move. Perhaps rook to e2 looks like a logical move. Model played the best move under circumstances and that is rook to d6 check. Let's take it back. If rook to e2, this is what would happen then, according to Kubel. Kubel said he would play b3 and after knight to d3 which he says is the best move. But let's see what happens if c takes on b3. Then check and black wins. So let's go back. After knight to d3, Kubel intended to play rook to c3 and after king to f1, but let's take it back. How about rook takes on e3? Then b2. And after rook to e1, what happens then? How would you continue? Then rook takes on d3. And after c takes on d3, a4. And black wins. But let's play a few more moves. King to f2, a3, rook to b1, a2 and black wins. And let's go back to this position. After king to f1, Kubel said he intended to play. Are you ready to see the move? He intended to play rook takes on d3. After c takes on d3, a4, rook to b2, king to b5, and black wins. And let's play a few more moves. King to e2, king to b4, king takes on e3, a3, rook to b1, a2, rook to a1, king to a3, d4, b2, black wins. Back to our game. So we have rook to d6, check, king to b5, and how can white defend the pawn on c2? Model decided to use tactics. He played a knight to f3, setting up a little trap. Can you see what happens if black rook takes on c2? Knowing that, how would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Are you ready to see the move? Kubel played this amazing move. Rook takes pawn on c2, falling into a trap. Is this a blunder? Let's see. Well, model continued as planned. Knight to d4, check. King to c5. Knight takes on c2. King takes on d6. White has a knight for two pawns, but the three black pawns are the past pawns. King to f1. If knight takes on e3, then a4, and the knight would not be able to catch the pawns. But let's see what happens in this variation then. King to f2, king to c5, king to e2, a3, king to d3, a2, knight to c2, b3, knight to a1, b2, black wins. Back to our game. So, model played king to f1, black to move. How would you continue? Kubel played b3, attacking the knight, knight to a3. The knight is now well placed to block the pawns. 
but Google played king to c5, g4, intending h4 and g5 creating a passed pawn. Maybe. King to b4, knight to b1. Black played a move and white resigned, and the move is a4. Model resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to e2. a3. King takes on e3. a2. If the knight moves, then pawn to a1, queen. And I guess we can stop here. That was an amazing endgame battle, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? Sorry, we don't have giveaways today. We have only one animal left in stock, but she is not friendly with kids. Sorry, this is the wrong picture. This is the right picture. I hope you will understand. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.